Hi everyone, this is TerraCube. I am Sharad. And I am Anthony. And we are here on Facebook Live to answer your questions. Um, I guess we'll wait a few minutes for people to join. We have one viewer right now. Let's wait a few more minutes. Oh, oh here you go. Now it's live. It's Puja. Ah, like, uh, comment. Uh, yeah, Anthony is uh, using his laptop as well just to keep a tab on all the questions that might be showing up. Ah, there you Still waiting. Um. Ooh, all our fans are here. <laughs> right, yeah. I guess still the time we are waiting, we can show the phone. Um, we can do it again a little later as well. Uh, so here's TerraCube. Here's our, I can bring it closer. The backside, the fingerprint sensor, the dual camera. Uh, the front full HD display. Uh, we have a finger, uh, a screen protector installed. That's a stretch goal. Um, here's the headphone jack and the USB-C charging port. I'll just lighten up the display. So it has all the Android apps. Let us know if you want any particular app to be open. We can do that as well. Uh, keeping my privacy in check. So, um, yeah, both me and Anthony have been using TerraQ for last two, three months. We have been super happy with our phones. We hope our backers will be happy as well once they get their devices. Um, the volume buttons are on one side. There is the SIM tray as well, which houses the dual SIM. Uh, and the micro SD card. The second slot is a hybrid slot which can take uh, either a micro SD or a second SIM. Uh, the the this... micro SD will support up to uh, 256 gigabyte oh, yeah. of RAM or oh, storage. And obviously, the other SIM card is just the, another SIM card. And there's the power button. Oh, we have a really good question here. Um, let me read out the question so that we can answer it so everyone can hear me. I see you have a screen protector on on it where I can buy it after the phone. Oh, hang on. After the phone or buy separately. Beautiful phone. Well, first of all, thank you. Um, for the screen protector, Shard, why don't you tell a little bit more about that screen protector? Right. The screen protector itself, uh, as I mentioned a little earlier, is a stretch goal that once we reach 100K, will be factory installed on all TerraCubes when they ship. The screen protector itself is an anti-fingerprint. Um, the it doesn't leave smudges and all. Uh, stays very clean, um, and it's edge to edge, so it takes care of the screen. Um, it's a nice add-on. People have been asking for it, so uh, we think it's a good add-on, and um, uh, I think you'll be you'll like it once you get it. What's that fancy term uh, we call this material for the... Oleophobic coating. So yeah, good reminder. Uh, it's got an oleophobic coating that takes care of the anti-fingerprint and anti-smudge thing. Um, and uh, we went through a few iterations to get it right. 
uh, there are a few cheap ones available as well but we went with the best uh, with the oleophobic coating and uh, so yeah um, any other questions yes there's another question what version of Gorilla Glass are you using or are we using on TerraCube? Do you want to take that? So, very good question. Uh, we are currently using Gorilla Glass version 3 for our TerraCube phone. But in addition to it, you can get a uh, screen protector like the one Shara just showed you. And if so, that will really strengthen the, uh, the phone even more. Right. And in fact, we've done some drop tests ourselves and it's been proving very, very reliable. Um, I see a question right there. Will there be any other cases made available to purchase? Mm -hmm. um, so right now, TerraCube in the first iteration, because of the volumes we are targeting, it'll be very difficult to get other vendors interested in making cases for TerraCube. Uh, but every TerraCube ships with a semi-hard TPU case. Uh, we have been putting it through some rough testing ourselves, uh, and it's held really well. So, um, so a case has included a transparent case, uh, but for now there might not be any other cases to buy for TerraCube. The case that will be included will always will also be available to purchase later on if something happens to it. Uh, but yeah, there won't be any other colored cases available later on. Not at this stage. Not at this stage. Actually, you have a case over there. Right? Oh yeah. That's let's good. show let's show the case. So here is the case that will be included um, easy to pop in uh, has nice cutouts for fingerprint uh, camera uh, the charging port show oh. pictures that match interesting <laughs> Facebook is doing a reminder for us um, and cut out for the headphone jack so it's a really nice case along with the screen protector. The phone is very well protected. Um, and as I said earlier, we have been putting it through some rough testing. I've been doing demos here locally in Redmond and I've been dropping the phone on concrete and nothing has happened. So um, some people have asked on Kickstarter as well about uh, getting a rough case uh, that can last, that can make the phone last. Uh, all we can say is this case, uh, the the transparent TPU case, um, is very well built and protects the phone quite a bit. We have another great question here. Um, will it be anti-glare? And also, does it have NFC? So I can answer the second part of the question. So we do, yes, it does come with NFC. And in fact, it is compatible with uh, Google Pay. So that's uh, very helpful. Yeah, we have tested locally in the stores as well. Mm. Uh, the wireless payment works. Uh, what was the first? Oh, part? the anti glare. Anti glare. The the the. I guess the screen or and or the screen the, protector itself. Um. I we might have to check. Yeah, on we that. might have to check on that. Uh, the specs. Uh, we haven't had any glare problems uh, with the uh, the screen protector as well as the screen, uh, but we can confirm that uh, and get back to you soon. Yes. Any other question? Uh, question? We can just transfer our SIM cards to the new phone. Uh, very good question. So uh, this is an unlocked phone um, and it takes uh, dual SIM. In fact, I can pop out the SIM tray. Um, um, it has the dual SIM slots. So right now we just have one SIM so card. So one is a micro SIM slot, the other is a micro SIM or a micro SD slot. So you just put the SIM micro SD, your SIM like this and pop it in the phone. And that's it. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to show the, the signal and the voice over LTE as well. So yeah, uh, so the SIM tray is right here, takes either du dual SIMs or the second SIM can be a micro SD slot as well. Right, 
So to kind of extend on that question regarding the SIM cards though, um, it also depends on which carrier you're currently with. Uh, currently, TerraCube supports uh, AT&T and T-Mobile and all the... And there are 15 other carriers? Yes, there are. Uh, it's mentioned on our Kickstarter page, yeah. Right, right. So, but we know for sure that Verizon and Sprint won't be supported. Right. So just want to be sure. In fact, that's that. a good point. Lots of people have been asking about Verizon. And uh, even though the phone itself supports Verizon with its LTE band 13 mm. uh, and 3G as well, uh, but Verizon has a very closed BYOD program where we have not uh, applied yet. AT&T, T-Mobile, and all the other carriers are much more open. They allow analog devices to be operate on the network. So, uh, but Verizon for now, we are not supporting Verizon. Yeah. All right. Another question: Is the screen protector still a stretch goal, or will it be included no matter what? A very good question. So. Uh, I mean, earlier when we put out the stretch goal, 100K, we were thinking it's far, but now it seems like it'll happen in the next few days. Uh, so yeah, I think it's at this point, it seems it's going to happen for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, we are already at 80K, uh, 400 plus backers. So thank you all for supporting us. Um, um, yeah, 100K is, uh, I think is going to happen in the next 24 days anyways. So yeah. Um, I can't put it like 100% for sure, but it's like 99 point. I think the likelihood is just very high um, exactly. us getting to the stretch goal. So in other words, um, it would be very likely that we will be shipping with the, uh, the uh, screen protector, that the one we just dem demonstrated. Yeah. All right, another question. Will the phone automatically configure data services when the SIM card is inserted? Yes, absolutely. Yes, uh, we have tested on multiple carriers. Uh, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Google Fi. Uh, we are going to test on some other carriers as well, but for all these three carriers, the configuration was straight. I mean, we didn't have to do anything. We just popped in the SIM, and the phone just got the configuration right. Uh, LTE started working voice over LTE, as well as uh, all the phone calls as well. Um, uh, we'll, we'll be testing other carriers, but it should not be a problem. As soon as you pop in SIM, no other requirement. Uh, no other configuration required. Right. From an end user standpoint, um, there's no other actions uh, to be required. You just need to pop out the SIM tray, you plug in your SIM card, you put it back in, and the phone should be able to figure out the configuration within a matter of a minute or so. Yeah, and if anything does happen, we have customer service right here in Redmond. Um, you can call us, you can email us, uh, and we are here to help. Another good question we have here, um, is Kickstarter the only place where the phone can be purchased? A great question. Um, as you know, TerraCube is launching the phone for the first time. Kickstarter is a great platform that has given us a lot of visibility and allowed a lot of people to participate in our pre-order. Uh, for now, for the next 24 days, Kickstarter is the only place where you can pre-order TerraCube. But once Kickstarter period ends, beyond those 24 days, we'll continue the pre-order uh, on a third-party website, either on Indiegogo or on our website, and the Kickstarter page will have a link to where to go to. Uh, so yes, we'll continue pre-orders beyond Kickstarter as well. As of now, Kickstarter is the place. Yeah. Uh, and, and, if, uh, and if you have already backed us, uh, we would request you to share it with your friends and family, share the Kickstarter link. Um, uh, more backers, more it gives us economy of scale, uh, like our stretch goal at 100K. Um, it allows us to uh, bring the cost down and um, uh, bring a better product like the anti fingerprint screen protector. Uh, so please share with your friends and family uh, and uh, help us uh, reach more people. Mm. Absolutely. All right, next question. What version is the Bluetooth? My understanding is that uh, the TerraCube comes with, yes, five. Correct. Yeah, it's the latest. 5.0, yes. Also, I know it's not part of the question, but uh, our Wi Fi also the, supports the latest version, which is uh, 802.11 AC as well, which actually um, most of phones in this segment, price segment, does not support the AC standard. So, right. something to be aware of. Some people have asked, does it support the Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi AX? 
um i mean ac till now till few months back was the latest uh, so we have wifi ac uh, ax probably in the next or the next versions but for now this is like the gigabit wifi uh, most phones under 400 dollars do not include wifi ac so yeah we are happy that we could include uh, wifi ac in our phone mm -hmm. all right so so far no other questions coming in um great question so far by the way yeah very good I, question I very interesting questions. yes very nice how about you want to spend a moment to talk about some of the warranty things because i know on kickstarter a lot of people have been asking us a lot of uh, questions on the uh, warranty stuff so sure um so as you as everyone has realized one of the biggest features for TerraCube is the four-year warranty um and uh, I am an environmentalist, and this is why we created TerraCube to make devices last longer. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to get started somewhere. Either we could have waited uh, five years, ten years, and millions of dollars to create something that people can repair themselves, or we are creating something that's um, that's more modern, that's available right now, and back it up with a four-year warranty. So uh, the way warranty works. Um, for any issue that you guys will have, uh, reach out to us via email, via live chat, via phone support. Uh, we'll try to troubleshoot it, diagnose it. Um, if it's a software issue, we'll help you there. But if not, if it's a hardware issue, let's the screen breaks or the battery is drying. Um, we'll give every customer two options. One is the uh, mail-in repair where we give you a prepaid label. Uh, you pack the phone to us, uh, you ship it to us, we'll do the repair and we'll have the phone back to you within five to seven business days. But the more exciting option is the uh, express replacement where once we have figured out that it needs a, a repair, we'll ship you a like new phone within two days. Once you get it, you transfer your data and um, ship us the, uh, the, old the old phone, whatever problem it has. We'll bring it, we'll do the uh, repair, we'll make it like new and make it part of the pool. Um, if the damage is beyond repair, then obviously we can't fix it. But in any case, the customer gets a express replacement um, and everything is free of cost, the shipping both ways. Um, so yeah, one option is express replacement, one option is the mail-in repair. Right. Um, but either way, the, the parts, the labor, the two-way shipping is all included. So from an ease of mind standpoint, it's definitely a great value proposition. In fact, I want to add that uh, once we figured out the express replacement option, um, it, it's in fact financially better for us to do an express replacement as compared to a repair. Because now, once we do the like new device replacement, we get back there is no timeline for us to fix it back, so fix it quickly. We can repair it uh, in our timeline and add it to the pool. So it works out, the economy works out in our favor as well and in terms of customer experience. Mm -hmm. You as a customer always have a working device. Um, you don't have to ship your phone and then wait for us to repair it and send it back. So it works out for both of us. Yeah. So um, during that time, some a few other questions came in. Um, one of them is, does it, is TerraCube waterproof? Great question. We have been, a lot of people have been asking on Kickstarter as well. Uh, so TerraCube, the way it's constructed uh, with the Gorilla Glass in front, the back also is a Gorilla Glass. Uh, the, metal, the metal frame uh, is sandwiched between the two uh, glass. Um, the case protects it. Regarding the waterproof, uh, it's water resistant and splash resistant, but it's not waterproof. So um, um, if anything goes wrong, we'll repair it for sure, but it's not included under the warranty. Yes. You are, yeah, I think that answers the question. Yeah, I think that should answer the question very nicely. Yes. Um, another question, I believe we kind of answered it, but I'll read it again just in case. When we'll get the phones here and our instruction for where we send the phones for its warranty with it, or how will that work? So I, as we mentioned, uh, as Sharon mentioned earlier, um, you can contact, contact us via uh, either email, live chat, or phone support, 
uh, one of our agents will work with you with regarding the repair, the warranty, the diagnosis, or the shipping if the phone needs to be shipped back to us. And if that's the case, we will provide you a return shipping label. And then all you have to do is pop a phone in the into a uh, you know nice little poly bag and send it to us, and we'll take care of the rest. In case of the express replacement, just to add to what you were saying, mm. uh, the box will come with a prepaid label already. Yes. So you take out the new phone, pop in the old phone, and just put the put the, the new label on. It's already uh, yeah, it's easy to apply, and you can just ship it back. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that answers the question. But great question. Another question just came in. What about the software updates? So yeah, as we have uh, advertised on Kickstarter, the phone TerraQ will get three years of Android updates, including security updates as well. Our plan is to do an update about every three months. So we won't be as aggressive as every month, just to make sure uh, there are a lot of uh, testing goes in to make sure the update is stable and works for everyone. So we are planning to do an update once every three months unless there are some high priority bugs that need to be fixed ASAP. But otherwise, that's about the schedule that we'll follow. Um, and uh, uh, regarding updates, the phone itself will ship with Android 9. Um, uh, it's running Android 9 right now. Um, Android 10 update will arrive sometime in spring. Our target is somewhere between February and March 2020. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll stick to that. You want to bring up the settings to showcase that it's running oh, sure. uh, nine pi, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Um, where does I forgot where does it show Android nine? Uh, I believe about phone. No, it should have been here, but yeah. Oh yeah, Android version, come on, yeah. So yeah, um, um, yeah, every three, every three month uh, updates and Android tend to arrive in spring. Right. Okay, next question. How does your vision compare to Fairphone? What are the challenges of incorporating additional ethical and environmentally sustainable features besides a longer product life? Wow, this is a really, <laughs> really good question. And this is something that a lot of people have asked us on Kickstarter as well. And uh, Fairphone is something that we figured out very early in our cycle that um, they have done a good job bringing something to the market, which is not only repairable uh, so that people can easily pop in a battery, but also from a uh, manufacturing perspective, they have figured out the uh, supply chain, uh, make sure it's coming from conflict-free countries, uh, the, the rare earth metals, uh, as well as the manufacturing side. Uh, there are not, not any labor issues and also they have take, done a good job with lots of things. You have considered a lot of things from the ethical perspective, fair trading, environmental focus. Uh, they, they really jam-packed a lot of all these good things into one single package. Um, so from that, you know, from a vision standpoint is actually, we are not, we're not no different, but I think what's different is the, the way that we are currently approaching the problem compared to Fairphone. Um, you know, from Fairphone perspective, they, they have tremendous uh, amount of support, both financially and uh, resource wise in order to, uh, uh, bring the effort to, to reality. Um, on the flip side, from our standpoint, um, as you can see, there's two of us, and you know we are bootstrapped, but um, you know we we have a bold vision, and so our approach is basically to start things, you know, uh, taking a baby step at a time, and and we what we want to st start off with is with TerraQ, uh, this particular release uh, with the four year warranty, and then to build up the the critical mass and also the trust with you know customer like yourself. And from there on, as we become bigger and more resourceful, we want to, we definitely, you know, our focus is to, to spend effort into researching, you know, things that, that uh, Fairphone does very well, uh, you know, such as like the, the, the fair trade, the, the environmental focus, the, the use of recycled materials, how would they re uh, 
better recycle the the old phones and 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 parts and things like that. So yeah, absolutely. In fact, I was thinking with so many people asking about it as well. Um, one idea came to me is that we could potentially partner with them to figure out some other supply chain. Uh, as an environmentalist, um, um, environmental is, is the has been the biggest focus for us uh, driving the development of TerraCube. But at the same time, all the other things, um, uh, the sourcing part, uh, taking care of uh, people who are involved in the manufacturing and uh, sourcing uh, and all the other aspects as well, shipping and all, is also a great initiative from a social perspective. Um, uh, but first and foremost, the environmental angle is the biggest for us. Right. We'll keep innovating in that direction and partner with um, maybe Fairphone or other partners to take care of some of the other aspects as well. Absolutely. And the way, and the way I kind of want to touch base on that a little bit more too is, you know, a lot of people ask us, well, why, why the four-year warranty? What's so special about the four-year warranty and how's that has the environmental impact? So the way we envision in this gen, in this first release is that um, we want TerraCube to last longer. So if you think from the perspective where like average life of a phone these days is anywhere between one to two years. So imagine instead of you know buying a new phone, throwing away your old phones every one to two years, you keep your device for four years or even beyond, we are potentially you know having this opportunity to reduce the 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 electronic waste as well as the raw material mining and manufacturing and process uh you know by producing the the phones now you know if you say if you look at it just one phone at a time yeah that that number may not look very significant but the reality is the fact that the world's now selling 1.5 billion phones a year if we can help to cut that in half that's already tremendously amount of resources saved both from a raw material standpoint as well as from a reduced reduction from an electronic waste standpoint. So this is where we are coming in from the four-year warranty is that we know that there's also a very strong growing trend where people want to keep their phone longer. But the problem right now is the fact that most of the manufacturers, if not all, the, that they do not support um, the end users such as yourself in terms of repairs or warranty or things like that. So this is where we come in because we feel like there is a marketplace that, that if we can put out a good reliable product and back it with a strong four year warranty, we hope that people can definitely use their phones longer and, and perhaps even beyond four years, which we would like to see. Um, and that's really the premise of how we are tackling the, this environmental problem uh, from the get-go. Um, but as we get bigger, you know, we have a lot of big, bold goals that we want to go after and we'll see we'll see where things will take us. Uh, great point, Anthony. I mean, uh, I just want to add that when I heard the 1.5 billion number, I was like, oh my God. And, and now just adding to what you were saying, even a Delta improvement in making the device longer by, by 10%, 20%. I mean, obviously our goal is 100%, but even a Delta improvement is humongous. When we look at 1.5 billion uh, phones sold every year mm -hmm. and potential audience around 3 billion, 3 to 4 billion of smartphones uh, around. Uh, so a, even a small improvement uh, can have a huge impact. Right. So for sure. Yeah. Any, any new questions? Yes. Are phones your only product or will you come out with tablets later? Will you have a US phone number? Uh, great question. Uh, in fact, uh, in fact, before thinking about phones, we were thinking about laptops as well. So we will definitely venture out into other devices. One TerraCube gets going. Um, um, phones is the biggest market. I mean, we were just talking about the numbers. 1.5 billion phones are sold annually worldwide. Um, so it's easier to have an impact and uh, um, easier. I mean, obviously, at the, at the same time, the market is very, very competitive. Uh, we think there's value. We have some backers to support us as well. So, um, but we will stretch to other devices, tablets, uh, and laptops. Um, 
What is the second part? Second part is will you have a US phone number? So I'm going to assume this is a support, support phone, phone number. Yeah. Yes, we will. Uh, we do, in fact. In fact, in fact, we have a toll free number already active. Uh, we have tested in our uh, support center here, right mm -hmm. here in office. Um, so yeah, we'll make it live before uh, the phone starts shipping to customers. Uh, but yeah, uh, for all for uh, we have operated uh, electronics business for last ten years, and we have been doing support from right from our office. So yes, we will uh, we will be providing a toll free number. Uh, before the phone ship out. We will definitely communicate that with all our backers. In addition, obviously, we'll go on our website as well, which is myterracube.com. Great plug-in, Anthony. Of course. <laughs> all right, another question. What happened with the giveaway? Were the winners already announced? Um, yes. Uh, there were three winners announced. Three winners have been picked. Yeah. Um, and that... we'll be communicating with them. Right. And uh, yes, we will be reaching out to the winners within the next day or two. And 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 uh, please accept our apologies if there have been any delays. We have been very busy with the Kickstarter, uh, with the excitement that it has generated, uh, just answering all the questions. Uh, but yes, three winners have been uh, selected, and we'll get to them pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. so. Another question: How long will it take to charge? Saw so that dash charger was included. So uh, TerraCube comes with a five volts, two ampere, quick two amperes, quick charger included. Uh, it takes about one and a half to two hours from zero to hundred uh, percent. But usually uh, the battery for us uh, at the end of the day, for me specifically, has been upwards of fifty percent. Uh, so it takes about an hour to get. Uh, Always in smartphone batteries, it's the last 20% which takes the longer time. Uh, but if the phone is more depleted, it ramps up quickly to about 80% and then slows down. Mm -hmm. So I would say to answer the question directly, it would take about one and a half to two hours uh, to charge from zero to hundred percent. Right. Next question. Will, oh, sorry, what all accessories will be included? Um, so we we have the TerraCube obviously with the factory installed screen protector once we reach our uh, stretch goal. Um, we have the clear semi-hard TPU case, mm. um, um, and there'll be a SIM pin included as well. Uh, Do we have our chargers here? Um, yeah, I can bring the charger as well. Ah, okay. Um, Sorry, we didn't have the accessories right here. Um, uh, here is the the five volt two ampere quick charger that we talked about, and uh, the USB C cable. USB C cable and a set of earphones, um, which uh, we are working to improve the sound quality. Uh, <laughs> well, just to make sure people yeah. see is USB C. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have had some queries around USB-C as well. So yeah, right. uh, the phone has a USB-C port and uh, a USB-C cable and charger are included. There was something that we were not fully ready for. Oh, price and cost. Uh, for the accessory or the phone I'm, itself? I'm guessing, well, we can start with MSRP first. Um, so the phone MSRP is three forty nine. Uh, on Kickstarter right now, the reward level is uh, going one ninety nine right now, um, and the accessories are all included. I, I'm not sure if the question was about the cost of accessories or the cost of the phone, but the uh, the case, the screen protector, the earphones, the charging cable, and the charger are all included in the box. Yes. So there is no additional cost. Yes. See, see any other questions so far? Oh, 
Uh, we have another good question. Is the phone safe from spy, a uh, spyware? Sorry. And how do you ensure that the phones are secure? Great mm. question. So um, TerraCube ships with stock Android, stock Android 9. Uh, there's no bloatware, no apps installed, um, only the basic apps that come with Android and some Google apps. Um, we have not included any app from our side. Um, and we will so, never install any apps from TerraCube. Exactly. So it's meant to, for you to run all your apps. It comes with the Google Play Store. You install all your apps. But there's nothing, in, uh, nothing, no bloatware, uh, no apps installed from our side. And the only apps we install by default would be the basic uh, Google Play Store supported apps, uh, Gmail, uh, Google Maps, uh, obviously the camera app, the, the gallery app, you know, the basic, basic standard functionality apps will be installed by default, but anything else, um, the you know, and customers use it like yourself would be required to install whatever you like, be it social media or news yeah. or music or video. Uh, that would be all up to you. But TerraCube, from our standpoint, we will not install any other bloatware or any other TerraCube specific uh, uh, or, or non-standard uh, uh, default Android apps. Uh, next question, will the phone be unlocked? Yes. Yes, the phone is unlocked to run on uh, any carrier that you would like. We have the list of carriers that we support. Uh, as Anthony mentioned earlier, Verizon and Sprint are not supported. Uh, but there is a big list of carriers that we have on our Kickstarter page that are all supported. So you can pop in any SIM in there, and yes, it will work. How about we showcase uh, the, some of the performance? I know some of the questions, some of the people are curious about how, how reliable or how quick the phone is and is this good enough and things like that. So, uh, Anthony, you're putting me on spot. So, uh, <laughs> um, uh, so there is, uh, um, I can do a few things here and there. Uh, there's the Google feed. Oh, come on, how do I browse like this? Okay. Um, and what else can I run? And then give me ideas. I can open my Facebook feed, but again, it's a privacy invasion. But uh, why, don't, why don't we get a Google map and say we want to go to, I don't know, that's place a good market? Idea. Let's do that. So we can do Google Maps. Um, go to Space Needle again. Uh, Space Needle, uh, uh, Pike Place Market, whatever. Uh, we can go to Space Needle. Uh, what else? Uh, I guess we can let people decide if they want to show any of the, see any of the app. But yeah, uh, with the we have some benchmark uh, comparison on the Kickstarter page. Uh, this is one of the fastest processors um, in this segment, in this price segment. Um, the way we we talk about it is like lots of thousand dollar phones uh, are like the expensive cars, like the Porsches. We are trying to tell uh, sell uh, like a Toyota Camry, uh, reliable, um, does everything that you need. But do you really need a 200 miles per hour car? Up to you. Uh, but uh, this is a great phone. We have been using it ourselves. I have never felt a need to, um, uh, I need a faster phone or something. It's been great uh, so far. And, and, and we are really hoping that all our backers will love the performance of Telecom. All right, a few more questions came in. Um, will the bootloader be unlocked? Um, I guess the question is like, is the is TerraCube uh, uh, does TerraCube support uh, routing for the phone? So the current an the answer for currently is that we are working on it, and in fact, several staff member <laughs> are very interested in this feature. So yes, uh, we are looking into it. Um, please stay tuned. Uh, we hopefully within the next couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, we'll we'll have more information to provide for them. 
in for that. But right now, as it's currently stand, uh, no, it does not, but we are looking into it. I think the bootloader will be a very easy add-on. Yeah. Regarding routing and custom ROMs, mm. that we are looking into. Mm. Uh, but keeping bootloader unlocked should not be a big deal. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're going to un unlock the bootloader, chances are you probably want to root it. So I'm just going <laughs> to might as well extend it to like the next further set of the question. So um, let's see. I saw there's another good question here. Give me one second. There is that one. Yeah. Let's do this yeah. one. The foreign supporters that paid for the $150 off, when when would we be able to pay for the remainder of the cost and how would we go about it? That's... I'm trying to understand. That's an interesting question. So here is my take on this. So here's my understanding. So the person is thinking that they have paid $199 and they still have to pay the $150 remaining cost. Um, oh. So... Um, so this is, uh, the MSRP for TerraCube is 349 as part of doing this pre-order, the phone is the full cost of the phone right now that you have paid $199 is the full cost. There's no additional payment required. Um, and, uh, no tax, no, no, shipping. Tax, no shipping, everything is included. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you are in United States or the rest of the world. Actually, I would add that, uh, um, depending on some European countries and all, there might be some back payment required, which oh, the customer yeah. has to bear. Mm. Uh, but in terms of paying us, this is the full cost of the phone, uh, including shipping. Uh, VAT and local taxes might have to be paid by the customer. Uh, but uh, this is this is part of helping us bring TerraCube to market. Um, so yeah, I hope it answers your question, but let us know if you have any additional questions. We have another great question here. I would like to see a case with lanyard holes built into it. Actually, I think uh, uh, I saw a gentleman yeah. ask us that um, on the Kickstarter page itself. So, so yeah, we will have to. Uh... Great question. Uh, right now, the included case does not have holes for the lanyard. Um, great feedback. Uh, something that will take to future versions of TerraCube. But for now, uh, unfortunately, there's there's no holes in there. Um, once you get the case, there might be a possibility of drilling some holes, but we won't recommend it. Uh, and um, yeah, um, we'll we'll take the feedback um, and talk yeah. to our manufacturers and see if there's anything can be done about it. And if there is, we'll definitely do something about it. Um, so again, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah. So again, stay tuned. Um, we'll keep you posted. If not, you can always reach out to us via our Facebook uh, uh, channel as well as uh, the Kickstarter uh, page, whether it's comment or, or private messages or anything. So yeah, let us know. Another question, will the phone support AR Core, the augmented reality for the apps like Google Lens? Um, my understanding that is that, good. yeah, I, we looked into it. I believe that current this current version of TerraCube does not support AR Core. We'll look into it more though. And is that something the MediaTek has to provide? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So uh, stay tuned on that. And if you have a question on that, uh, let us know. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. Right. Um, I think that's all the questions. Yeah, as I said earlier, I mean, I am, I am personally kind of surprised and humbled with the kind of questions and kind of interaction we are getting. Uh, we love all the support we are getting on Kickstarter as well. Um, when we were working on the idea, um, it was like, I don't know how many people care about uh, environment and sustainability and making devices last longer, but let's put out the idea. Let's work on this and uh, um, and and we have been amazed by the response so far. Um, there's still a long way to go, uh, but uh, here in our office, everyone is so excited about it. Uh, I, I mean, uh, kind of losing our sleep as well, somewhat, to some degree, <laughs> uh, but uh, very excited, very passionate working um, uh, and uh, uh, so thanks to all the backers and 
Uh, and potential backers. And potential backers. <laughs> Please share it with your friends and family and uh, spread the word. Uh, we we have not spent, uh, I mean, we are bootstrapped, as Anthony mentioned earlier. Um, so there's as many, as much reach as we can have. Uh, but it's like uh, um, every help that you can provide, uh, would love to have that. And uh, any questions you can ask right now, feel free to. Otherwise, obviously, you can reach out to us on Kickstarter uh, via comments. Uh, our email address is hello at myterracube.com. I'll repeat, hello at myterracube.com. Our website is uh, myterracube.com as well. So uh, feel free to ask us a question now or at a later point as well. Oh, there's another question just came in. Will you surprise... Surprise us and ship early. <laughs> mm, I don't know how to answer that one. Yeah, it's a trick question. That is tricky. Uh, um, Very tricky. So um, this is something that uh, I think Anthony, you replied to someone on Kickstarter, um, and um, so <laughs> our, I mean, we, our goal will be definitely for that. But for now, we our philosophy has always been under promise and over deliver. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, uh, while we have said that we are shipping in January, uh, we we do want to ship earlier than that. Um, but as we said earlier, we don't want to make promises. Uh, but there might be surprises. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll keep everyone updated. Um, uh, manufacturer side, uh, the order has been placed. Um, the sourcing of raw materials has already started, uh, so um, uh, we'll let you know. We'll keep you posted, and if there are any surprises in early shipping, we'll let you know as well. Yes, we like to we like to give nice, pleasant surprises. In fact, some of us <laughs> are waiting for our units as well, uh, and our near and dear ones as well, who have uh, helped us uh, launch the product. So uh, they have been asking as well. So um, uh, uh, we'll we'll keep you posted. Thank you for sure. right. One thing um, I think is probably also worth calling out to, um, and this is based on some of the feedback that that uh, Sherrod and I both read on um, Kickstarter and whatnot. Um, a lot of people have concerns about, you know, first off, will, you, will we ship the phone? Is there going to be like a six months delay? And would this project go fail? And this and that and blah blah blah. So. Um, I'm going, to tack, I'm going to tackle several of these questions all at one time. So, um, so sorry. First of all, um, you know, is the project going to going to move forward? Absolutely. And the re that is also one of the reasons why we set a, the, the the pledge goal not very uh, aggressively, only because we we want to be sure we can fulfill and deliver what we promise. So that that is one of the very prime reason why we designed the, the pledge goal to be a little bit lower than some of the, the other technology uh, devices, uh, campaigns that you might have seen on Kickstarter. Uh, let's start with that. Secondly, uh, and will we ship, is there going to be a six months delay? I think just given what you've just heard from both Sharon and myself, um, no, we are not going to have any delays. Uh, if anything, you know, worst case, we'll be on time. Best case, we might have a surprise. So you know, take it, take it with a grain of salt, right? Um, I mean, in fact, to add to what you just said, we have already placed the order with the manufacturer. Mm. Um, uh, the expected completion of manufacturing is end of November. Mm. Uh, but again, we are keeping a buffer time. Uh, we, we may surprise you by shipping them early, but internally we are saying we have to have all uh, TerraCube units delivered before January. Mm. So yeah, and, and we'll stick to that. Um, another few questions. How good is the camera? Uh, great question. And so many people have asked on uh, Kickstarter as well. Uh, we have some samples right there on the Kickstarter page. If you scroll through the middle of campaign, uh, in our FAQ section, uh, we have provided the camera specs as well, as well as a link to a Google Drive folder where we have put um, uh, real photos that Anthony took on his Vancouver trip. Um, so um, uh, take a look at those pictures. Uh, I mean, pictures speak for themselves. We can say 
it's got a 8 megapixel selfie camera it's got a 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel dual camera uh, it takes great pictures but the real shots speak for themselves so um, it's got a great camera as i said me and anthony have been using teracube as our daily phone for the last 2 to 3 months um, i love everything about it including the camera uh, but definitely take a look at the pictures um, and and make for and decide for yourself um, and to add on top of the, 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 the picture share that Cheryl just mentioned, um, so the photos that I took, actually, I used two apps for that. Uh, one is the one that came with TerraCube, but for the reference, I also use another free app, which I downloaded from the Google Play Store. It's called uh, Open Camera. Uh, I think a lot of you might have heard of that app before. So but I've used that app to take uh, also quite a few number of photos and post, post it up on the share as well, just so that uh, people can see from a reference standpoint. But um, be, be assured that all the photos, doesn't matter if it's taken from the standard TerraCube uh, camera app or the open camera app, all the photos are unedited. They are straight from the camera. I download straight to the, from my phone to, to my computer and my computer uploads straight to uh, the Google uh, Photos share. So there you go. Um, another question. Will you be needing any early testers? Uh, <laughs> yes, for sure. Uh, if you are interested, drop us an email at hello at my Um, we'll be shipping most of the units in the order they were ordered in the sequential order, but we might send them out to some, uh, early testers just to make sure everything is in place. Um, uh, so if you are interested, definitely drop us a comment or an email, um, and, and we'll, and we'll see if there's, uh, uh, a list that we can maintain and maybe reach out to you. Mm. Let's see. By the way, both of us are doing Facebook Live for the first time. So if there have been any hiccups, <laughs> any errors, please pardon us. Um, uh, we were we are super excited, but at the same time, we have to prepare as much as possible. So yeah, let us know if there are any things, suggestions for something like this to be done better next time. Oh, oh there's another question. Will there be any other color or just black for now? <laughs> So again, um, we are launching uh, TerraCube uh, for the first time in the market. Uh, we wanted to keep everything simple. Uh, so it's just black color for now um, uh, with, the, with the transparent case. Um, um, there have been questions like uh, with the, from the environmental angle, would you ship just the phone as a SKU, not including the charger and the cable? For now, we just wanted to keep everything simple. But from the next one version onwards, we'll have some more choices, maybe in the color, but definitely in what we ship. Um, so for some people, if, if they already have a USB-C charger, cable, uh, and earphones, so we'll have a SKU next time, not this time, uh, where they can just get the phone and the case maybe. Uh, but for now, it's just one SKU, one packaging that includes all the accessories and one color black. All right. Um, oh, another question. How did you all come up with the name TerraCube? Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone asked that question. Right. Nice. So again, uh, as some of you might realize, coming up with a name where the domain name is available, the trademark is available, <laughs> and it kind of goes along with the vibe of what we are trying to create is not an easy task. Uh, our team maybe had spent one or two months yes. just with the name and there were like hundreds of names suggested um, and it was either a pronunciation problem or the vibe or the, is it related to environment or not um, and so going back to our name Terra Cube, Terra stands for Earth um, and uh, we didn't want to say Terra phone and we don't want to stick to just phones so we have gone with something to show a physical product, a physical object. Um, and that's where TerraCube was born. Um, and 
I would say personally, um, there were there was so much time we spent on the name, but I just love the name, and every, and so does everyone whom we have met in our team as well. Um, uh, great name, uh, easy to pronounce, uh, easy to convey as well, um, and it brings out that vibe that we that's that's what we are after. I mean, uh, it's not any other phone out there in the market. We, I mean, our intention is purely from an environment perspective. Um, uh, me and Anthony joke, and uh, I tell Anthony as well. Maybe we want to tell people that please buy our phone only if you need it. <laughs> um, and and uh, as compared to like, here's a phone, buy, buy, buy right now. Um, uh, we definitely stand behind the product, but we also stand behind why we are creating something new in the market. So um, uh, goes without saying, if you have a working phone, um, you don't have to buy directly right now, but please remember us. Uh, whenever you need it, you can come back. Um, and maybe your friends and family are in the market for a new phone and something that uh, they care about, something that lasts longer, uh, takes care of them as well. Anything goes wrong, we are here uh, to help you. Um, and not only from a hardware perspective, from also from a software perspective. If you are having any problems installing any app, if you're having problems in configuring something, just drop us an email or give us a call. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we'll have live forums as well. Uh, you can drop a note there as well or search the forums. Uh, but we want to be different than from other companies. And that's where, um, uh, and that's what TerraCube is. Uh, uh, not just another phone, but more like a partner. Uh, hardware, software, any app issues, any hardware issues, we are here to help you. Right. So, but to add on to the, the TerraCube, in case you guys didn't see the logo, I'm sure oh, you yeah. guys all have. I don't know, can you see? Hopefully you can see. Yeah, that's a good view. See, um, the logo is like a cube with a leaf. So something that we want to provide from a technology standpoint, but we also want to embrace the message that we are all about the environment as well. And while you're showing that, I guess you can also show uh, the design in Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, there were so we, as you might have realized, we are based in Redmond, Washington. Uh, it's a suburb of Seattle, um, and uh, um, so yeah, we we are very excited to be a tech startup from uh, uh, Redmond area, from Washington State, um, and uh, so yeah. Um. Oh, we have another question. Will it take great pictures with low light, like night vision? Great question. Uh, so the camera app does have a night mode. Uh, I would say it takes decent pictures. It does not compare to a thousand dollar phone uh, for now. Uh, we are working on it, but uh, it does have a night mode. It does improve the picture quality a bit uh, when taking picture in low light. Uh, but again, um, uh, I, Lots of people have asked, how does it compare to, let's say, an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy S10 or something? Um, we would say on the, I mean, it does not compare to a thousand dollar phone, apples to apples, but it's a great mid-range phone in terms of picture quality. Uh, low light, there is a night mode. Um, uh, there was a portion earlier on Kickstarter where someone wanted to see uh, real night shots as well. Um, I forgot to do that. Uh, I'll be taking some night pictures and adding it, adding them to our Google Drive soon. All right. Another question. What is your smartphone rollout cycle slash roadmap looks like from an environmental standpoint? Once a year, every two years, three, et cetera? Great question. Um, so right now with TerraCube, it's a new brand. Lots of backers have are helping us bring TerraCube to the market. Um, we definitely want to help more people. Once the brand is established, once we have delivered the phone, there will be more trust factor. So after doing the first cut, first version, we don't want to wait too long to bring the second version because we have gotten some good feedback. It's just a lot of people need a validity as well, a trust factor as well. So TerraCube 2 and TerraCube 3 might launch 
every year. So TerraCube 2 might come in 2020, TerraCube 3 might come in 2021. Our message will always be the same. Please, please buy our phone only if you need one. And if you need one, there's no reason that you should be buying an old, uh, an old phone that is not up to the standard. But if you have a working phone, we'll always back it up with uh, uh, performant updates. Uh, performance is included in a warranty. So if the phone slows down, that's our problem. That's not your problem. Um, but the number of people who are backing us right now is not the only people set of people who would who would like to have TerraCube. It's just that either they're not in the market right now or they would like to see some verification. And that's where we don't want to delay launching TerraCube 2 and 3 uh, too much. Um, so uh, while um, bringing a device uh, to the market every new every year and advertising is this is the latest and greatest and you should dump your device and buy a new one, that's a tactic that every other uh, manufacturer employs. We don't want to say that even though we may bring a new phone, our message will always be the same. Please buy our phone only if you need it. Uh, and if you need a phone, definitely consider us as compared to the competition. It's as good as any other phone in the market or even better in certain areas. Um, we have talked down our Kickstarter page. Um, it's got six gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, one of the fastest processors in its segment. Um, uh, got NFC, gigabit Wi-Fi. So there's a headphone jack. Headphone jack. <laughs> um, and there's a nice comparison on our Kickstarter page. Um, so if you're in the, in the market for a phone, uh, definitely consider us. Um, um, and that's where we want to help more people as well, uh, with our, um, uh, with our, uh, with our environmental initiative, as well as our initiative to help people when they need it. Uh, when is the last time you call your phone company and got help? And that's where we want to make a difference. Uh, we have been doing this for last 10 years. Um, all customers in our existing brands, all customers, their phone calls get answered within a minute as compared to maybe hours with other brands. Um, and and we, um, uh, with our customer service, the mantra is customer is God. Whatever issue is, we have to see it from their perspective, not from our perspective. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to bring, we are bringing the same thing to TerraCube as well. Um, uh, so um, I think I'm giving a long answer to the short portion uh, how often will be our cycle, but going back to the specific uh, question, we will for at least for the initial versions, bring out a new phone every year or year and a half, uh, just so that we can reach more people, maybe friends and family of the backers that we have right now. Uh, once they have seen the phone, they have more trust. Um, uh, all the people we have seen uh, shown the phone in the Redmond area and Seattle area have loved the phone seeing is much more convincing than uh, talking about it on Kickstarter. Um, but so that's where we hope to reach more people in the second year and third year. One thing I'd like to touch on too, um, you, you brought some really good points about the, the roadmap and whatnot. Um, part of the, the, the mindset is that uh, we would like the customers to think about the, the new versions or new releases in the future, not a new release necessarily. I think a, a good way to think about it is think of it as like we are trying to stagger the uh, the upgrade path for the users. So if you miss out this time around for this TerraCube, you know, and, and next year somehow your phone broke down and you need a new phone, then that's where the new version comes in. And then hopefully, you know, another four, five, six years later, you then buy the, the, that that whatever version to be uh, uh, for the TerraCube and not necessarily come in and say, oh, you know, I'm going to up. I'm going to buy a TerraCube one and then two and then three and then four. We, we don't want to dis encourage that. Uh, you know, if, you know, like Sarah said, buy the phone as you need it. I mean, that, that is going to be one of our models as well. Um, you know, we, we only, not only, but we would prefer people to buy it as they need, if there's a need as opposed to just buying, because again, you know, this is, this is going to be something that will impact our environment uh, very, very greatly. Uh, so I guess it's, beyond four o'clock already so let's take maybe one more question one more question so yeah good good idea 
Can people trade in the older TerraCube phone so that they, it could be resold to someone else less wealthy needing a great phone like this? If someone wanted to upgrade to the latest and greatest phone. Hmm. Great question. Um, the, the, really interesting. the trade in and the recycling is something that uh, beyond the life of the phone, I think this question is specific to the phone is still working, but someone wants to trade in to buy a new phone. Um, again, with the um, with the start, we have focused on some things, and some things are like on our list to get to uh, in the future versions. Uh, definitely want to add a recycling option where the device has reached its end of cycle, maybe in four years, five years, six years. Um, uh, people want to uh, get recycled in an uh, ethical way in a proper way uh, we'll have a recycling pro program which we don't have right now but at some point maybe it has a small financial incentive as well so that instead if of the phone going into the trash or the phone going into let's say some drawer or something in the house you can return the phone to us and be recycled it properly or if you have a recycling program in your neighborhood um, uh, definitely that could be one option we'll look into in terms of phone while working and going to someone who might need it. Um, again, great option, uh, something that we'll add to our list uh, and potentially get to in future versions. Right now, the whole focus has been to uh, bring TerraCube to market, uh, start somewhere and keep adding more as we go along. Oh, helping those who need it in you know, uh, less fortunate uh, uh, places or, or you know whether it be at financial positioning or, or in you know developing countries or what have you uh, that's all something uh, we definitely like to think about and consider moving forward um, unfortunately we don't have an answer we don't have a straight answer for that yet but that that's a brilliant idea um, thank you for your suggestion um, we'll, we'll take it very seriously and we'll, we'll see what we can do yeah cool uh... With that, I guess, uh, thanks a lot, everyone, uh, for joining us today. Uh, I mean, as I mentioned earlier, super thrilled and excited to have such an audience and so many questions as well. Uh, feel free to ask us any questions, as I mentioned earlier, on the Kickstarter page, on the Facebook page, via our email address, hello at myterracube.com. Uh, again, repeat, hello at myterracube.com. Um, uh, we'll we'll get them. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thanks a lot. Please share with your friends and family. We need more support. Um, and uh, excited to, uh, for you to be on board as well. And uh, looking forward to delivering TerraCube, uh, the first version, as soon as possible. Some people, someone was asking about surprise. I would say as soon as possible <laughs> to our backers. Um, and uh, continuing the journey. Uh, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you.